In this video, I demonstrate several useful options to the plot command and how you would really incorporate points and lines um, in addition to sort of the generic plotting uh, defaults. I created three vectors. One's called POW, the other one's called POW2, and the other one's called THETE. Because I'm going to use THETE as sort of my X variable. POW and POW2 I'm going to think about as two different Y variables and be thinking about plotting those. Uh, so for example, I can plot theta versus pow, and the key thing is that these I constructed these vectors so that they had the same length. If they didn't have the same length, this uh, this command would return an error. So they do have the same length, and it pr produces a plot of theta versus pow. And as you can see, uh, pow appears to look kind of quadratic uh, in theta. Now, suppose I wanted to, uh, and just sort of naively, try to get a plot on the same plot. And I just run this plot command again. I go theta versus pow2, and just go and run this line, and it produces a different plot. But notice it produced a new plot object. So in our studio, this is kind of easy to see. All the plot objects that you have um, before you hit clear all are just sort of stored here. And so you can go back and look, and there's the first one, there's the second one. But I didn't accomplish my goal of putting both of them on the same plot. Uh, that's one of the objectives in this video is to sort of explore some of the options of this plot command, as well as showing you how to put these two plots on the same graph. Well, one frustrating thing is the the default for plot is points. It'll plot just round circles and that's all it will do. If you want to do something other than points, there's some options in the plot command under the uh, option type. You can specify what type of plot you want to do. Uh, for example, we could do lines. There I plotted theta versus pow and I plotted a line and this col option allows you to specify the color of the line. You could also do plot where we have lines and points. It means that we have the points and the lines and the lines go right through the points. So that's uh, that can be useful if you don't want to run sort of two commands, one to generate the points and one to generate the lines. Uh, another one that was kind of useful when I was going through and just exploring this was type equals s. This gives you stair steps. Maybe you like the way that looks. Uh, that could be useful in some applications. Type equals b it gives kind of a different looking plot. I suppose if you like the way that looks relative to overplotted, uh, you might want to use this, which is type equals c, and this is just the lines part of both. This basically just gives you a bunch of sort of line segments that don't connect dots. Uh, I, I really don't like the way that looks, but may, maybe you do. Uh, and then there's something that's called histogram-like. Uh, th this, is, this is somewhat useful. Uh, so type equals h. Uh, these just basically put vertical lines for each theta value, and uh, that's, uh, that's sort of uh, histogram-like. If you have really dense data, um, this would look kind of like uh, kind of like a, a sort of a density plot. You can use the limit options to specify sort of the window. Uh, so it has some defaults about sort of where your data are and uh, where the window is. Um, but you could also specify the x limits and the y limits and use, uh, use the c command to tell lower limit and upper limit. And so let's do this histogram-like command again. I sort of widened it out. I said, well, let's look at theta from 0 to 20, and let's look, pow, look at pow from 0 to 1. Uh, it sort of stretched it out further, and we can see the plot um, sort of without uh, automatically adjusting the endpoints. That can be useful if you want to sort of put a whole bunch of plots on, on the same graph, and you know the range that your data will actually end up having to take on. And then there's this kind of weird plot, and this could be sort of the, among my less useful options. You could do this no plotting option. So if type equals n, you can do type equal n, and it will produce a blank plot. I mean, at the same time, it, it can be a convenient way to generate just sort of a blank set of axes, and then you could uh, use points and lines commands to put things on top of that. And then you could say, well, what I really want to do is I want to have points. 
that correspond to these vectors. And this is like plotting. It says plot these points. If I use the points command, it works just like the plot command, but it just says let's plot points in um, uh, on the active plotting window. You could also use the lines uh, command. I'm going to plot the same or scatter plot, but I'm going to connect them with lines. This lines command will essentially do what plot type equals L does, but not generate a new uh, plotting object. So it will put this on the existing plotting object. Suppose we wanted to relate the two POW vectors, and we wanted to see them graphically. We could just take, uh, take theta and plot it uh, relative to POW and, and do points and lines just like we did before. Or if we wanted to, we could use lines and then use the overplot uh, type command here. And so let's let's go ahead and do that. We'll make the color red, and we're plotting theta versus pow. So theta is our x variable, pow is one of our y variables, and we wanted to sort of plot this to see sort of how it looks relative to the other uh, the other pow vector. And so we see that there's uh, there's kind of a nice relationship. You can see that how how we were able to plot that um, and it, this one, you know, the type equals O uh, might be less preferable to, say, to running points and then lines because type equals O, you have to have the same colored points as you have lines, um, at, least, uh, at least by default. Uh, and it's not so hard to just replace the phrase lines uh, with points and then just change the color. Uh, so if you prefer to have your points be different colors than your lines, um, that can be nice. Um, so this is kind of a quick rundown of of several of the plotting commands uh, that are useful in sort of creating different um, and creating different things. Uh, the final thing you might be interested in doing, you might want to create a title. Uh, so let's let's uh, do a title for this. So we could go ahead and say, you know, this is my title, my power plot, and we can put that right there on the plotting object. Now in our studio, you can do all sorts of fun things. You could zoom in on this plot. You can export it to a different file. You can create a PDF export. You can export into a file that has a specific size. You can specify the size. Um, so there are a lot of reasons to favor our studio because you can uh, you can do a lot of different things with your plotting, and you know, it doesn't pop up in front of your commands like it does in the regular R interface. Well, hopefully this was a nice quick rundown of, of the plotting command in R um, and some useful things that you can do with it, um, at least in practice, to produce plots with both lines and points.